Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, I uh, had a bit of a scare with the white smoke. Uh, turns out um, that it was the brake um, booster leaking brake fluid into the engine and combusting it, so producing the white smoke. So in this video, I'm going to show um, basically some just replacing that equipment. So replacing the master cylinder and the brake booster and um, and anything else that I see that's suspect that needs to be switched out. So uh, follow along. All right, so I did manage to get the brake booster and master cylinder out as well as the uh, double reservoir. And I only got had one problem and that's uh, a brake line snapping. So this goes right here and it goes to the proportioning valve and uh, just as you can see it just curled this up as I was taking it off of the uh, proportioning valve and um, so I'm going to need to replace that but that was really the only problem taking this out. Um, essentially you take out the piece that goes to the brake pedal it's just the rod that goes to the brake pedal. You undo these four screws that hook to the mounting bracket that bolts to the frame. Disconnect your brake switches, two of them. And this is a 77 model, so it might be different for uh, 72 and below. And then you have to pry this guy out and then you're good to go. I the, the reason why I left the master cylinder on is because these bolts are totally frozen so it'll be easier for me to take them out on the bench here. So I'm just gonna get some stuff cleaned up and uh, get it ready to to install the new equipment. And here is the new brake booster and this is a remanufactured unit from Rock Auto uh, pretty good deal and uh, basically you leave this guy on until you install it then you install the master cylinder right here but I just need to transfer a couple things over for example like the nipple this plastic nipple needs to go over there and then then I'm gonna install this and then I need to get this guy installed along with this guy once it's all cleaned up. Okay, so the brake booster is uh, installed now and we have the rod connecting to the brake uh, lever here. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit dark in the shop right now, but got that installed. Now I'm going to install the master cylinder. Okay, so I got the reservoir mostly cleaned up. Um, and everything transferred over the uh, brake switches there and what I'm going to do is actually add a little bit of fluid brake fluid to the reservoir and uh, try and bench bleed it a little bit um, so what I'll do is you can actually press down on this a little bit and uh, actuate braking action so um, I'm just going to see if I can do that just to help out with bleeding uh, once it's in the bus. Alright, so got the brake booster installed and the master cylinder. Cleaned up the um, reservoir here and I installed the brake line from this proportioning valve going around here. Got it bent and uh, into the master cylinder here. This brake line was good. This one is the uh, existing one, but this one's new. And um, basically the entire brake system, aside from the lines now, has been uh, touched in one way or another. So um, basically the only thing left to do is kind of tune the parking brake a little bit. It's uh, having a little bit of an issue. but. Uh, get these guys bled and uh, we should be good to go. Well, got the uh, brakes bled and the uh, power booster all in and the master cylinder and replace that brake line and uh, 
It's looking great now. The bus stops like it's never stopped before. So this is kind of a blessing uh, in disguise as white smoke. <laughs> so um, the uh, bus is um, stopping on a dime now and that wouldn't have happened because the brakes were pretty decent before but now they're super good. So <laughs> so I'm somewhat thankful for, uh, for that scare. And um, thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, we'll see you next time.